Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the Fill Series feature. So first of all, you can quickly type things yourself without using Fill Series by just using the little black cross in the corner on the cell, pulling it down. It will automatically fill the series depending on what you type. These are preset things, so you can type the month, for example, get the little black cross in the corner of the cell and pull it down and then it will fill it in. Days of the week are also available for you to pull down. And basically any word, so if I type week one, for example, I can pull that down and it will assume that I want to do, do a numerical list. Even if I type my name, it will understand that I want to pull that down. Now, if I type a date, for example, if I do control semicolon, it will pull that down and it will just increment by one day. If I change what's called the step value, so if I put that to the, the 18th to the 20th, the 20th there, when I highlight those two, there's a gap of three days there. If I pull that down, it's gonna pick up that gap. That's the step value it's picking up there, 23rd, 26th, etc. So you can do that anyhow, but there's a few other little things that you can do inside the fill series dialog box. So if I just highlight something there and go to the sheet menu, because in there you've got fill cells and then across you've got fill series. So the first one is similar to what we've been doing. If I start there, start on one, end value 10, increment two, okay. And it will put it in like that. Now, if I delete those, and do another one so go into sheet and fill cells fill series what you've got there is these options that was on linear you've got growth date so if i click on date i can type a date in there first of the first 24 and then end value i'll go 10th of the first 24 and then click ok to that now that has not formatted that column to date, but I can do that myself by doing control one to get into format cells and selecting date, or you could have done that before you did it. Clicking okay there, that puts that into dates. Now I'll just highlight some more. There is a feature in sheet and fill cells to do growth. So this growth option would allow me to start with a number, for example, one, leaving that end value blank, to two, so it's gonna double up, and click OK to that. So two, four, eight, 16, etc. So it's just basically doubling up all the way down in that example. If I highlight some more, go back into it, sheet, fill cells, fill series, You've also got this automatic option. If I click on there, start with a one, click OK, it will do the same as what it would do if I pulled it with a mouse. But if I highlight the whole column and do that, you can see that this would be a quicker option to fill the whole column. Series, start value one, incrementing by one, no, you don't get that option there so i'll just click ok to that should fill it all the way down to the bottom if i do control end on the keyboard that'll take me to the bottom and you can see the score on the door there that's a, how many rows you get per sheet if i do control home that will bring me back up and then i can highlight that whole column and delete that off so that's how fill series works so if you have a large number of cells, you probably want to use fill series rather than just pulling it down with your mouse because that will just take ages. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video, how you can fill a series and how you can use the fill series dialog box to get a few extra bangs and whistles. So hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.